How's it going, people? We are live. Turn up my microphone here. Hello! We are live, and today we are opening this Darkness Ablaze booster box, hoping to find a Charizard. It's gonna be exciting. To start off, though, I do have a Unified Minds, uh, Booster pack box, so it has three booster packs. We'll use this just to just to just to get into it. Just to get into it. Hi Rogue, how are you doing? Let me just adjust my camera. Hi Rogue, how are you? Anyone else who's coming in? Hope everybody's well. Hope everybody's having a good end of the week. Start of the weekend. I almost said that correctly. Start of the weekend. Yeah. So far today, let's see, what have we been up to? Um, hi there, Corrupt Signal. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. How's your week going slash ending so far? That's a weird way of asking that. <laughs> <laughs> How's your weekend going so far? That's a better way of asking that. Um, my dad has been really into wanting to get... Uh, sorry, I'm just readjusting. Uh, really into wanting to get a... Uh, what's the word I'm looking Cast iron. That's what it is. Cast iron pan. So, okay. So, we... We have been, we, we, basically what our meals consist of are like, what me and my dad cook. We, we obviously eat a lot of meat, you know, we're Canadian, uh, 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 European background. So it's like, what do you eat? And typically it's meat and potatoes, <laughs> you know? Um, but, uh, so because it's winter, we haven't been able to barbecue. And we figured out how to do a lot of stuff in the oven slash on the stovetop. But the one thing that we really wanted to do that we missed is having steaks. And and um, we just never had a cast iron pan. My dad thought that we had one, but we haven't had one for, um, uh, oh, I guess we haven't had one for a while. So we went and bought one off of someone um, that he knew and all this more and it was super rusted out. It was gross uh, So he spent the entire morning cleaning it uh, <laughs> And boy was that an adventure um, and so we've uh, We seasoned it. It's we baked it We're just letting it cool down. He went off to do some stuff for work and so uh, here I am. But yeah, that's what our morning was, was uh, cleaning and seasoning a old cast iron pan to hopefully cook steaks in it tonight, which I'm really excited for. It'll be my first time at, it'll be, it, it, I, I think, I don't think I've ever eaten something made in a cast iron pan. I mean, maybe at a restaurant or something, but I've never cooked with a cast iron pan. But how's everybody else's week going so far? I just realized something that I forgot to do before the start of stream, and I just need to do it really quickly. It shouldn't take that long at all. But. Um, let's see. I mean, I might as well say what it is. I... But did I... Did I do this one? Oh, I did do this one. Oh, okay, I just need to bring it in. That's not a big deal. Oh, whoops. <laughs> nope. 
Forgot to turn on studio mode so y'all can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> oh lord. I'm 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 changing today's Pokemon for for uh for the for the uh who's that Pokemon? <laughs> I didn't want anyone to see. I wanted it to be a surprise. But <laughs> Bummed I missed my sister's party for weather, but happy to be here with you. Uh, what, how's, does the weather really bad down there? A nice seared steak is awesome on cast iron. Nice. That's what we're hoping to do. That is what we're hoping, 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 hoping to do. Pikachu was there, but it's not supposed to be Pikachu today. I was gonna, every, every thing I wanna do a new Pokemon, So, and I had one ready. I'm just making sure that it works. That is, it's such, it's just nightmare fuel. It is literally nightmare fuel. I love it so much, but it's just freaky. And I know that it's freaky. I know that it's terrifying, but it makes me laugh so much. If you don't know what I'm talking about, we do have channel point. There we go. That's perfect. Wow. Okay. You guys are going to hate this. <laughs> this is not. No one's going to like this. No one. No one will like this except for me. Okay. Not terrible, but I just don't want to take a chance with my eyes and safety, you know, the visibility was low. Oh, yeah. No, we had that for a good... Well, it was last weekend. Last weekend, it was... There was no point in trying to drive. There was no point in trying to drive last weekend. We're supposed to get some... snow again this weekend. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, Corrupt Signal, how is it where you are? How is it where you are? I don't know if I remember if you've ever said about where you're from. But, yeah, you know, it's winter. <laughs> this is the way we have to deal with with winter. It, I've, t I've mentioned this before, but it's always so funny with, like, um, specifically being in Canada. Um... And specifically being in Canada and uh, how people in certain areas like still are not used to the fact that it's like you live in Canada, it's winter, it's going to be bad. <laughs> be prepared. The only place where it's actually like not terrible, it's, it's really funny actually. And I guess it's just because of where it is located. But um, British Columbia is actually like probably the nicest place to be in Canada during the winter because it's it just rains. It rarely snows in British Columbia. Hey, Reese, how's it going? Welcome on in. How you doing? How's your weekend so far? But so British Columbia is the very far west province of Canada. I forget what state it sits above, but it's like on the other side of the Rockies. Mid Wisconsin today is negative four, negative four Fahrenheit. Jesus, I know that that's cold. Negative four Fahrenheit. Ooh, that's negative 20 Celsius. That is rough. I am not jealous of you. That was last night for us. Last night it was negative 20 for us. So I feel your pain. <laughs> I feel your pain. I'm doing well, Reese. I'm doing well. I was just talking. Oh, you're playing. Ooh, you're streaming Scott Pilgrim versus the world. Is it your first time playing the game? I had to go to work in negative five yesterday, but I know that you're from, you're from, uh, Europe. 
So I know that you're talking about Celsius. Negative five is not the worst. It's okay. I'm I'm totally fine up to I'm totally fine up to or down. I'm totally okay with like negative ten and above. As soon as it's below negative ten, I hate. I don't like it. But is it your first time playing Scott Pilgrim vs. the World the game? I loved that game when it first came out on uh, on uh, arcade. Arcade was that on the Xbox Arcade was so fun. I played uh, I played it once before on 360. Nice, yeah, yeah. On the 360, it was so fun. I definitely should pick up this again because I had it on my old 360, but I don't have a cop. Obviously, it was it wasn't released again. Is it on Switch? If it's on Switch, 100% gonna pick it up. Such a fun game. Such a fun game. It's on Switch? Sweet. I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna pick it up then, because that is such a fun game. It's so... silly with the beat-em-up stuff. I'm trying to remember what... I haven't touched, I haven't played in forever. Yeah, Scott Pilgrim was great. I read all the graph, I read all the books. Well, because uh, Brian Lee O'Malley, who wrote the books, is from Toronto. And when I moved to, I remember reading the books before I moved to the city. And then when I did move to the city, I went and saw like all the cool places that he mentions. And like, I've been in the Scott Pilgrim movie, I've been to a lot of the places that are in that movie. Like uh, the whole, um, the whole scene where he fights, uh, um, the whole scene where he fights, um, what's his name? The movie star character, the guy that, uh, the guy that, um, Chris Evans plays. I just, I just don't remember some of the characters' names. Um, I'm really bad with <laughs> remembering names of things. Um, but yeah, when he fights the uh, second evil ex-boyfriend uh, on the movie set, that's Castelloma. And I actually don't live too far away from Castelloma. It's cool. And actually, Anthony used to work at Castelloma. I don't know if he still does, but he used to. It's, it's an old, old, old castle that's in the middle of the city. And they do like a ton of like theater there they do tours and stuff it's it's a big tourist attraction and they shoot movies and tv shows there too so that's why it made sense to be in the movie uh there's the pizza pizza like restaurant that they that they hang out at at part of the movie i've been to that exact one um uh the where they go for the battle of the bands where they where scott fights the first evil ex-boyfriend the interior is not correct like the interior was a stage or like a set i'm pretty sure hey sept how's it going it's been negative 15 Ooh. right now i think it's like negative eight here so not too bad um but the place that it takes place at or no wait Oh, it, no, I've yeah, I've been there. I think it's when I think it's when uh, Clash at Demon Head play. I think the place that they go for that uh, is Lee's Palace. I've been to Lee's Palace. It's a really cool venue. A lot of like trial bands start out there. And above Lee's Palace, I don't know if it's still the same because I haven't been there in forever. Above Lee's Palace. Um, above Lee's Palace which is a club um, where a lot of like Toronto artists start out at. It's like a rock. It's mainly like rock or punk or alternative music. Above it is this place called the cave. And it's a it's a dance club where um, they they play a lot of different music. The one time I went there, they played. It was like it was like nostalgia night or whatever. And they played uh, music from like the 80s to the early 2000s. So it went from, J <laughs> it went from, we were dancing and it was from, it went from Jay-Z's 99 problems into 
uh, Spice Girls. <laughs> it was just such a it was it was a really fun night. I definitely go back there when you can, <laughs> when it's safe to. But I hope everybody's doing well. So today, what we're going to be doing, I, like I said before, we just started chatting, is going to be opening this booster box of Darkness Ablaze. Uh, the big boy in here that we'll look at in a second is we're looking for a Charizard VMAX. It's a $100 card, so hopefully we can find it. To first start out, though, I picked this up at Walmart. It's a Sun and Moon Unified Minds uh, box. It has three booster packs in it. I just figured always good to just start out with something just to get the just to get the flow, you know, just to get into it. Um, let's see. Oh, I don't have this set up. Oh, geez. Look at me slacking. Look at me slacking over here. Um, also, this will be a great way to introduce uh, the predictions. Oh, I didn't realize I had it selected. Good thing it didn't show my porn. Uh, okay, Unified Minds, Unified Minds. So the big boy in here is the Mew Mewtwo GX, which is 175 bucks. Throw the plastic, I'll pick it up, I'll pick it up later. I'll pick it up later. Um. So yeah, so we can do the predictions and stuff. So let me get this settled. So what? So, um, so we can look at actually here. So with the predictions, you use your channel points to <clears throat> basically say vote on what you think is going to happen. So I'm looking at the set. We could probably full, pull a full art card pretty easily like all these are full art cards but the question is let's see is there what's the is there a rainbow card that's like pretty low oh yeah there's a ten dollar kaolito and nagada de la but i think i think the better question is are we gonna pull the mew mew two card are we gonna pull the mew mew two card so let me get this set up just so that we can see how this works and if we like using this. I'm gonna start a prediction. Oh, I see how this works. I'm dumb. That's previous predictions. That's really handy. So let's see. Um, will we pull the Mewtwo slash Mew? There we go. So the prediction started. And so what you should be able to do is you can use your channel points to vote for which one you think will win. And so you can it's at the top of the chat. You should be able to hit predict and then you use your channel points to either say yes or no. Oh, right, that's right. Mods can't cast predictions. Oh, damn it. I forgot about that. Poop. Dang it. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> and so what, well, essentially what you can do, and you can keep casting, like, or you can keep Putting towards points, so you can put toward you can put like as many points as you want towards, and if you win it, 
then then you it's basically gambling basically gambling uh you're right you can't do that as a mod i wonder if there's a way that you can because i don't want to unmod people because i'd feel bad i feel bad if all of a sudden something happens wish there was a way and then what's cool is in in the chat you can see it then gives people a a little uh a little um badge about which side they're picking so you can see that there's so like corrupt signal has blue next to him because he's gonna say yes he's saying that yes or they are saying sorry i don't know which gender you are uh uh which one? All right, so the predict... Also can't pick a side? That's interesting. I don't know why that's all of a sudden. Also, it doesn't have your... It doesn't have your... Um, it doesn't have your... Uh, badges next to your name on my end, Sept, for some reason. Maybe you need to refresh? Weird. Strange. Anyways. So, oh, your badge is back now. So maybe there's something weird going on. Okay, so yeah, so now there's 67% said yes, while 33% said no. So now we'll go through it, and then I'll choose who you know wins, and then and so I'm thinking about trying you to. Are the oh, there we go. Oh my God. <laughs> nice. That's awesome. Refreshing did something, LMAO. <laughs> it definitely did something. <laughs> Nine months in a row, you are the father. Set, uh, Sept. That means that we have a Twitch baby. You get to name our Twitch baby. Let's get this out of here. Alright, so we got three packs of Unified Minds. Cubone, Cubone's not doing too hot. Cubone's not doing too hot. <laughs> almost it's about uh cubones almost halfway almost halfway done all right so let's see are we gonna pull this mewtwo mew card that would be pretty epic considering that literally only have three packs here we'll see all right so we got a bound sweet we got a jolt oh wait i didn't do the thing i didn't do the thing my bad uh code card one, two, three. Um, I always forget that this is how, what you have to do with these cards. Um, I'm going to say steel. Nope, it's fire. All right. Now we'll look. We already know what three of these cards are. We got Yon Mega. We got Jinx. We got Dragon Air. Very nice. Boon Sweet. Joel Tick. We got a Sand Dial. We got a Relu, we got a Medite, we got a Reverse Hall Gibble, a Yarn Gibble too, that's pretty neat. And we got just a normal, rare Excadrill. Also, just gonna... Can I bet on a Joltik? <laughs> Uh, Agrippa it is. Old Italian slash Roman name. Name of my Oath of Ancients Paladin. Ooh, cool. Are you still playing regularly, uh, Sep? Guys, it looks like we got another Bound Suite. <laughs> no? Yeah. It's definitely harder for people. Um... Where am I put the code cards? I'll put them over there. Yeah, online D and yeah, it's it's definitely not for everybody. Online D and D is is I I I haven't tried it necessarily. One, two, three. Uh, water. Nope. Steel. Great. Yeah, I would definitely definitely. Eh, I I don't know if I'd try it if I'd like it or not. We got knocked owl. We got a Caracosta. We got an Adino. 
We got a bound sweet. We got a sandal sand salandit. Sorry. Uh scraggy. We got a, a Tianmo. We got a Q bone. Oh a Q bone! He's coming at you. He's 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 rushing you. We got a uh reverse hollow mess spirit. And we got a rare uh crustal. Not hollow. So far, this is very Hey Axel Reddit. Uh we play a lot online. How is it? How is are your games going pretty well? Then welcome on in. Everybody say hi to Axel. Oh, it's the Pokerbuns. Hi, Alex. How you doing? Welcome on in. Scraggy's cool. I do like Scraggy as well. Uh, code card for later. One, two, three. And let's see what we get. This is our last pack. So it's really fun. That's glad. That's awesome. What do you play? If I may ask, we got Sableye. We got a Swadloon. Just unhappy as all can be. Just not. Just. It's not Alex. It's. It's not Alex. It's not Snuggle because he obviously likes to snuggle. <laughs> it's Snuggle, right? <laughs> He's just. That's the Swadloon's not happy at all. We got a Fly, Inium Z. Zed, air slash. We got a Sneasel being all sneaky, just a sneaky boy. Uh, we got another bounce. We got bounce sweet in every single pack. So we got a Joltik, Sandalit, we got a Relu, we got a Reverse Hall of Scorp Rippy, and a oh no oh yeah oh yeah I didn't do the fucking energy oh well whatever. Uh, we got a holographic Aegis Slash. Which that's cool. It's not it's not it's not the rare. It's not the it's not the it's not the hundred and fifty seven hundred and seventy five dollar Mewtwo Mew GX card, but whatever. No, it's okay. So then what I do here is I go back to here, I choose who won. I choose the outcome. No, we did not get it. And so then whoever voted no in the prediction gets the points that they gets the points that they uh that they bet. So, so 150 channel points went to Reese. There you go. Which that's cool. So we're gonna do. So yeah, I want to use. Uh, I want to use predictions to uh, be able to like just add a bit more interactivity to these streams. I feel bad saying no. No, it's fine. If you really, if you're really like, mm, I don't think you're gonna pull it. I don't think you're gonna pull it. Then <laughs> uh, that's totally fair. Those were only three packs, so I wasn't too confident in us pulling a a very rare chase card in. <laughs> but the this is actually what we're doing today. This is this is the real thing. I just wanted to use the the unified minds to get us started, get us into it, and, and to show off predictions. So, but I hope everybody's doing well. Um, what was I going to say? Axel, Axel Reddit, you didn't tell us uh, what uh, uh, what your character is for d and I'd really want to know. I love hearing about people's characters. I'm a, a GM myself. I haven't, I haven't played a game in a while. I haven't, I haven't ran a game in a while. I'd love to again. But uh, I love hearing people's D and D stories. They're so fun. So yeah. So today we're opening this Darkness of Blaze box. Um, the Darkness of Blaze. Let me pull it up here. The big boy card that we're looking for. Ooh, it went up in price. It went up in price. Is this Charizard V Max card? That's what we're looking for. This isn't a crazy huge high price set, but there's some cool cards in here. I like I love the Rainbow Rare Rainbow Secret rares that are here. There's a couple of shinies because they started to introduce shiny Pokemon cards. 
So like you got the shiny Rillaboom, Rillaboom, shiny Colossal, which is cool. So, so yeah, no, nothing too crazy. Of course, all the cards that are rare are the uh, are the uh, full art secret cards. That's just how Pokemon goes now, but should be fun. Should be fun. Let's get into it. So then what we can do is we can start a prediction as soon as we get this opened. And we'll say what we think. It won't be like, will we find it in the entire thing because uh, predictions can only run for so long. Um, but what we can what we can do is instead we'll do it for like every five packs or something. We'll say, will we find blank in this pet in these packs? You know. Gotta gotta get this thing unfurled. So you can see what it looks like when it's all set up. Got a little internus. Yeah, we're looking for that big boy. We're looking for this big boy. We want him. Okay. So as always, it's nice, nice to see the box all set up, but we don't need that shit anymore. So, um, since Unceptium resub today, I'm gonna say Unceptium. You tell me which pack we should open last. Which pack should we open last? Just give me a number between 1 and 36, and then I'll put that pack aside, and that'll be the last pack that we open. While Sep's doing that, I will remind people that uh, we now have channel points. Look, You can look at my hairy arm there. Number 26? Okay. We now have channel points. You can do different things with them. Uh, the one that uh, I think everybody is either going to love or hate is the, uh, <laughs> uh, who's that Pokemon reward? If you saw on our social media or, or I shared in the discord, the, uh, the Pikachu video <laughs> team squat all the way. Hey, as soon as you can get team squat, I will do, I will do squats. Um, but there is that we have a new Pokemon today as our guest. Who knows what personality they will have, but we'll see what happens when we get there. Um, and then also, uh, you can see at the top left here, uh, that's our gym leader currently. Rogue is our gym leader. She is our stream boss. Eternus is very pointy. I know. I'm, I'm very sad that uh, Octo is not here to point out the fact that how pointy Eternus is. But hello, Bullet. How are you? Welcome on in. Um, so right now, Rogue is our gym leader boss uh, with her Q-bone. Uh, you can affect the stream boss and try to take it over by subbing, gifting, uh, or subbing, uh, using bits, follows, all that stuff, donating. Um, and whoever deals the final blow to Q-bone will become the gym leader and be able to take it over and choose what Pokemon they want as What Pokemon they want as their. All right, so Seb said number 26. So there's 18, verse 18, one, two, uh, 26. So 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right, that is the last pack that we're going to open today. I'm going to put that to the side. Let me just get <laughs> everything in order. Hey, we don't know. We don't know, Bullet. It might, it might not be. It could be. Who knows? This could have this pack could have the Zard. It could have the Zard. It could. We don't know. So I guess we might as well start out with a prediction. We'll do five packs and we're going to make this one a bold one. And it's just going to be straight up 
Uh, do you think we're gonna find... Oops, I should go to here, sorry. Uh, do you think we're gonna find the Zard in the first five packs? I think the other reason why mods can't vote is because mods uh, uh, mods can uh, create predictions. So there we go. Prediction started. You vote with your channel points. Exactly. If you hope, that's a different story than do you think. If you hope, if if you genuinely think yes, you will vote yes. If you don't, no. This is a way that you can gamble your channel points. Hey, gamer girl, how you doing? Welcome on in. Everybody, say hi to gamer girl. Right now, we're running a prediction of are we going to be are we going to find the Charizard in the first five packs of our Darkness of Blaze booster box. That's the main reason. They can't start slash end predictions and manipulate them. They can't start end predictions and manipulate them getting points. Yeah, I know, yeah. These predictions are not available for watchers in your reason. Wait, what? Really? How? That makes no sense. You're on Twitch, you're on the internet. That is so dumb, I'm so sorry, Sept. No online gambling with 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 fake points. That is so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. That's crazy. That's crazy. I guess it's because people do technically use them for like giving away stuff. Uh, no, that makes sense. I do the Netherlands government. <laughs> Let me write a, a, a steaming letter to the Netherlands government. It's fake points that real money can affect subs. Oh, right. Right, I forgot if you sub and use bits and stuff. True, true, true. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay, let's go here. So, all right, let's see. First pack, Darkness of Blaze. Oh, right, you can just use a VPN. That's true. First pack and I can't open it. <laughs> you can find a place to put these cards from the first thing. All right. Thank you, Gamer Girl. All right, let's see. Just gotta turn my on. Hello, I'm a Canadian. <laughs> nice. One, two, three. All right. Um, I'm gonna say it's water. Nope. All right. We got Ursa Ring. We got Heat Energy. We got a Simiseer eating some. What well, looks like to be like pears and oh, you can actually see it's like the fruit from friggin' um. Those are tiny. F those are tiny bananas. Those are tiny bananas. Look at them. I know that's the fruit from uh, from Pokemon Go. Yeah, those are the berries. But like, but I know that the I know that the one berries look like they're a bunch of bananas. But those are so tiny. <laughs> we got a Rowlet. We got a Squovet. I love Squovet. It's just friggin' filling its hole. <laughs> Spinarak, uh, Larvasa, Hippopot, Hippopotapotapotapot. We got a reverse hollow grand bull and a uh, goth ital, goth ital. He's a he's a fat squirrel bit. Neneb neneb berries. Neneb berries. I probably should. I'll just I'll just separate these. Whatever. Whatever. 
Whatever. Oh, he is the cute. Yeah, he's the cute. Oh, speaking of cute. Speaking of cute. Should've, I should have brought a box for the all the packs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One, two, three. Uh, I'm going to say fighting. Oh. All right. We got a soul rock. We got a relicanth. We got a yell horn. Was anyone a fan of Team Yell in the in Sword and Shield? I felt like team like the teams have slowly just gotten not as threatening. <laughs> like Team Rocket, it was scary. Like Team Rocket to me is scary. And then what was it? Team Team uh because Team Rocket was in Gen 2, right? And then it was Team Magma and Team Forget. Because they need a team in the game, yeah. Skitty. Skitty is the cutest. Uh Dieno, Jigglypuff, Dunsparce, Clink. A reverse hollow jigglypuff. Very cool. And a muck. And a regular old muck. And a regular old. On to pack number three. I wish you could do multiple predictions at once so we could have like a big prediction of are we going to pull the chart at all today and then do small ones. One, two, three. Are you muck? Are you running a muck? Muck spelt backwards has come. I'm going to guess grass. <laughs> I'm so childish. We got a soul rock. We got a Stenny. We got an old PC. We got a Shelmet, Larvitar, Grimer, uh, Galarian, Durumaka, a Senret, Centret, a uh, Reverse Hall, Beer Trick, and ooh, oh my god, guys. Ooh boy. A gold turbo patch. Would you look at that, baby boys? It is on the list. I see. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Obviously, it's not the Charizard, so it's not the thing. Let's see where. Oh, it's a $12 card. Look at that. Look at that right there. $12. Very nice. Very, very cool. Gonna have to sleeve that up. Is that going to be the best card that we pulled today? Possibly. <laughs> but that's cool. That's cool. I like that. I like I love I love these cards. Like I know that now they're just super focused on like the rare cards are the like gold cards, the rainbow full arts and like all the secret rares and whatnot. But they make them look really cool. They make them look really cool. So can't blame them. Boom. Turbo patch. Rocking it. That's awesome. Pack number four. So maybe like the next prediction we'll do is do we pull a full art? And then like we can do like do we pull a secret rare? So then like that technically would count. I just figured let's go big and say are we going to open the Charizard right away? Which would, be, which would be funny. One, two, three. Um, I'm going to say grass. We got a, we got a Dartrix. We got a little cute Denine eating some mushrooms, getting high as shit. We got Bird Keeper, a Squovet, Spinarak. We got a Larvasa, uh, Hip Hop 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 Hop. We got a Golet. We got a Reverse Hollow uh, Marini, and we got a Vol Corona. My Vol Corona. All right, pack number five. Pack. There we go. Pack number five. What are we going to get? Who knows? 
but we'll find out. All right, one, two, three. I'm gonna say psychic. Nope. Hey, Papa Ben. All right, we got a Carnivine. We got a Falafi. Just looking up the sky, powerful energy. We got a Passminion. We got a Bunnel Bee. We got a Vanillite. Looking up in the North Star. Uh, we got a Gothita. Uh, just hanging on a street corner. Mm -hmm. What's she doing out there? We got Nicket. We got a Reverse Hollow Larion. And we got a Mimikyu. Very cool. Not a Hollow, but. Just a Mimikyu. All right. Well, that was the first five packs. And unfortunately, we did not pull the Zard. But people won some channel points that you can use for our different rewards. And we'll become, and if people got suggestions for rewards, please feel free to let us know. I wish I could see who won exactly how many points, because it doesn't tell me that. It just says 570 points go to Snuggles and two others, but it doesn't tell me who won what. All right. Whoops. Um, let's go with a. We're going to go secret rare in the next five packs. We'll give you two minutes to make this prediction. So uh, secret rares are basically any of... Oh God, you guys looked at my arms during that. I shouldn't have shown... And I keep forgetting to switch, switch uh, cameras. So secret rares are... Basically like that turbo patch, but it's any of these full art cards. Um, it's not these ones. It's not the V's, but these like kind of silver bordered ones. Obviously any of the gold ones, any of the rainbow ones. Um, the V maxes aren't secret rares. So this is probably a higher prediction, but maybe next one we'll do is will we get a V max or higher. In the next five packs, I'll make sure to pick out five packs. Let's see if it works. Oh, you're gonna, oh, you're gonna vote with your VPN. Hey, Nikki, how you doing? Oh, sorry, you're the one who said I love that hippo man. My bad. How are you doing, Nikki? Hope that you're doing well. So did we ever learn what who's that Pokemon does? Did you not? Oh, it does work. Yay, that's great. Uh, Bullet, did you not see the video that we posted? <laughs> Explaining what who that Pokemon is? If you go over to our Twitter or Instagram. You'll be able to see the video. It's like right there. It's like our last post on Instagram and and uh, it's like our last post on Instagram and um, one of our last tweets is I uploaded the video of what who that Pokemon uh, is. So you can definitely check that out. All right, let's see. Are we going to get a secret rare? Eh. God dang it. Open. Am I going to need to bust out my scissors? They definitely made these harder to open. Then when I was a child. 
One, two, three. I'm gonna guess... Grass. Yeah, look at that. All right, let's see. Could this be a good one? We got as well us. We got struggle gloves. We got clang. We got larvitar, grimer, clarion, Yaramaka. <laughs> I don't know why I blanked out there. Uh, Centret, a Rowlet, a Reverse Hall Pantsier, and a Swana. Uh, wearing wearing a wearing a blue bikini right there. <laughs> Pantsier. That's what we're going to be doing tonight when we cook up some steaks. When the when the stream first started, I was talking about uh, how me and my dad are going to be trying to uh, cook with a cook with a uh, uh, cast iron pan for the first time tonight. We're going to be doing some steaks, so I'm really, really excited about that. So I heard that this is a thing. I heard that this is a thing. So you can see you see how there's two different styles of there's two different styles of online cards. I I don't know if this is true, and maybe someone in the chat can tell me that this actually depend like tells you if you're gonna get a rare or not, or you're, you're gonna get like a secret rare or not, or like a like a better card. Is that true? No, we didn't get a new cast iron. We but we did buy an we did buy like someone's. We bought, my dad bought someone's like old cast iron. It was all, uh, what's it called? It was all, uh, um, just so you know, not inviting me for dinner was a mistake on my part. Um, <laughs> uh, no, we didn't buy a new cast iron. We bought, we bought an old cast iron that we fixed up. It was, uh, rusted and stuff. We cleaned it up today. So it's new to us, but I think there is a reason why there's two different ones. If someone wants to look that up and tell me, please feel free, but okay. I'm going to guess psychic. There's, oh, I didn't do the one, two, three. I'm gonna guess Psychic. You wash the cast iron. Oh my God, how do I explain? No, mm. I know, I'm pretty sure you guys are just fucking with me. We had to clean the rust off of it. <laughs> we didn't use soap. We used the way that you clean, you clean it. We used water, vinegar, and baking soda to clean the rust off of it. Then we seasoned it with oil. Why do I have to explain it? <laughs> Cleaned it. Cleaning doesn't mean washing it with soap. We got a Stenny. <laughs> it's Stenny. We got Furret. We got Yellhorn. Oh, I totally forgot to do something before. Hold on a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna re I'm gonna redo whatever. I don't know anything about cooking. <laughs> We got Tauros. We got Ruggedy. We got a Glarian Mr. Mime. We got an Electrike. We got a Dino. We got a Reverse Hollow uh, Ursaring. And. Oh, okay. We got a uh, Holographic Toxicity. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. We got a Holographic Toxicity. Toxicity. That's pretty neat. I forgot to do one thing. I, I, this is why I really need to go down to my apartment and get my. Uh, get my uh, uh, stream deck so I can use it. I totally forgot about this part. So hold on a second. I'm just going to play this again so we can do this. So we got a... Oh, we pulled a... <gasps> a turbo patch! Oh my god! Ah! I need to add music to that. But yes, we have anime lines. Well, I forgot about the anime lines. My grandma was so particular with hers. Yes, people are. Even my dad's being particular about his. <laughs> and we haven't even cooked with it yet. 
He's like, he, he's watching videos about like how to clean it and then how to like season it. And he's like, I don't remember, I don't remember when I was using one growing up, um, my grandmother using one growing up uh, uh, that she uh, like re-seasoned it every time. You just, you just wiped it off and that was it. And I'm like, well, uh, if they're saying that you, that you should do it, then maybe you should do it. I don't know, dad, frig. I've never used one. If, if this person online who's like, Literally, their channel is them cooking and doing cooking tips. I'm going to believe them when they say that after you're done cooking with your cast iron, you should wipe it clean and then re-season it by, put, by oiling it and, and, and heating it up. Uh, did I do one, two, three? I don't remember. Let's see. Okay, no. It's fighting energy. <laughs> I have a short attention span. We got a heat energy. We got a relicanth. We got a familiar bell. We got a bunnel bee. We got a vanillite. We got a gothita. We got a nicket. A pack of nickets. Uh, we got a shelmet. We got a reverse hollow. These are the weirdest freaking. These are these these are weird. The fossil Pokemon from Sword and Shield are so weird. <laughs> uh, and oh snap! Look at that. It's sadly not a secret rare. You know what? I'm going to give it to people. I'm going to give it to people. No, wait. No, it's not a secret rare. It's not a secret rare. But that's awesome. A Scizor VMAX. That's dope. Uh, this is a $5 card. That's really cool. Oh, wait. Ah, we got it. We got <laughs> No, we. this is technically not a secret rare, so it doesn't count. We technically... We technically, it's not, a, it's not a secret rare, so it doesn't count. We said, it's cool though, it's dope, but it's not a secret rare. The bet, the prediction was, are we going to pull a secret rare? It's not a secret rare. It is a mix of round and pointy. I, I love Scizor. Scizor is such a cool Pokemon. Now the question is, are we blowing our load super early by getting a, a gold card and a VMAX card? I bet again it's the secret rare, so you best be honest. I am. It's This is not a secret rare, so the secret... So, uh, I don't think that you can really... You can kind of see down here. You can see the numbers. So all the secret rare cards are above. So there's a total of 189, uh, quote unquote, 189 cards in this set. But you can see then on the gold card, this one is 200 out of 189. So all the secret rare cards are above 189. So if it's below 189, it's not a secret rare. But hey, look at that. We still got two cards. <laughs> yeah, 119 out of 189, so it's not a secret. Ew, don't say blowing your <laughs> Two more packs in this. In this prediction. Hey, we could pull, we could just have the best box in the world and pull a secret rare in this box. <laughs> I, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure. Okay, so here, so here's why I think that this is, this is the case. Okay, so the I don't know what this one was. This one was the hollow toxicity. To, to, tox tox toxicity. This was the VMAX code card. And then we pulled this. So I'm pretty sure if it's this green one, it's not gonna be anything crazy. If it's the white one, it's gonna be crazy. I think that's a way you can tell. One, two, three. Oh, we're not shooting blanks with <laughs> after the recent polls. <laughs> yeah. So there is Scizor and there is Rog and Rolla with the Ultra Beast Cartana count as a. Oh, yeah, because you got rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. That's a good one, bullet. That's a good one. I know, I can't pronounce words right. I'm going to say it's fighting. We got a Simapore. 
We got a Spike Muth. We got a Bird Keeper. We got a Coup Font. We got a Dino. We got a Panseer. We got a Mareep. We got a Snubble. We got a Versal Clink. And uh, Hydra. Hi. Dre. Zagon. Hydra. Name them stuff you can fucking say. <laughs> <laughs> Just name them words you can say. <laughs> Hydrogen. Did did you know Judas Priest made a theme song for Rog and Rolla? Rock and Rolla. Ah, there we go. You got a two-headed black dragon thing. Yeah, he's a two-headed black dragon thing. Actually, he's three-headed. Actually, he's three-headed. Let's see, one, two, three. That's the thing, is this evolves from uh, Zuelos, and Zuelos has two heads, so it just keeps, just keeps gaining heads. Yeah, even better. <laughs> even, hey, three, three heads are better than two. All right, last pack for this prediction. Will we get a secret rare? I don't think so, because this is green. If this, if, 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 if this, if there's a secret error in here, then we know this lies, but since that's green, I'm going to make a random guess. We got uh, Galarian, uh, Darumaka, Larvitar, Nicket, Bound Sweet, Bone Sweet, uh, Snubble, Free. Oh, 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 I didn't do the one, two, three. Okay, never mind. There's our. I didn't do the one, two, three. There's our uh, reverse hollow free bass, and there's our rare glaring dar, dar manitan. And there's our. I forgot about the one, two, threes. Ardios for it, Flaffy. I was too busy talking and chatting it up. Ruined. <laughs> I ruined it. Damn it. I know. Okay. There we go. So we did not pull a secret rare, but we did pull. A VMAX Scizor, which is awesome. How dare you interact with us? <laughs> so, uh, we did not get a secret rare. But, there you go. All you, all you peoples get, get those, get those points. 450 go to Sept. Nice. Oh, oh, excuse me. Only one verse. Only one person voted no. It was Sept. <laughs> nice, good job. All right, let's see. How many? We should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more packs on this side. Although since, oh, this works out so that since we put one to the side, there's 35 packs here, so we can keep doing things in fives. Oh, uh, you, because you're a mod, Nikki, unfortunately you can't vote on predictions because mods can create predictions. Um, and so it's a way, it's so that they can't, make a prediction and then affect it. But if you want to, I could unmod you if you really want to vote. I can reward, no. <laughs> But yeah, if you, if you really want to take part of the predictions to gain points and stuff, feel free. Like, I can then remod you. We're pretty good right now. We got Rogue here, so. And obviously I'm here, so. If you want to. Even if even if Rogue wants to. I'll live vicariously through, through Alex. There you go. You can make Alex vote for you. You can just, just use Alex's account. You know, I appreciate you so much. I think you should be demoted. <laughs> yeah, just use Alex's account to vote on his behalf to win points and then use Alex's account to 
uh, use his points to make me do stuff. That's the easiest way. All right, let's see. Wait, okay. So if we look here at what we got, um, I think we should do a V, a V card or higher. We're we're bringing down what we did. Like you know, are we gonna get the Zard? No. Are we gonna get the Secret Rare? Now it's like, sh are we gonna get a V or higher? And 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 V V's are not too crazy. Like. You can see there's like Vicavolt V right here, Salamance V, Scizor V. That's like the that's like the hot that's like the lowest rare card. There's holographic cards, but then there's like V, then V Max, then Secret V's, then uh Rainbow and then gold cards. So we're just going for like a V. We could get that Charizard V. That's a $11 card, which is cool. Oh, dang. Wait, you can't use I it. There was a I oh, it nice. And it wasn't the sparkling conversation. Welcome in, Cards Are Us. Howdy, howdy, howdy. What's up? Let's pull, let's throw this into the, into the chat. Hello, everybody. How's it going? My name is Martin. I run Unknown Air Films. We're a uh, technically we're a production company from Toronto, Canada, uh, located in Ontario, Canada. But um, what we've been doing during this pandemic, uh, and I hope everybody's safe out there. Uh, welcome on in. Uh, is uh, we've been working about doing online stuff. So for the past couple of weeks, I started streaming again, and uh, basically every Saturday. I stream opening up Pokemon cards. Last week, I went through a bunch of old collections I bought online, and this week I'm doing some Darkness Ablaze. So we're looking for that Charizard. So far we have found, um, so far we have gotten, we've opened up like, what, 10 packs so far? Thanks for the follow cards, RS. Uh, we got the gold turbo patch and the uh, Scizor VMAX. Our first 10 packs. Don't forget the button. Don't worry, I'm gonna remember. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for Cards R Us for uh, following. So, and for rating. How are you doing? Welcome everybody in. Um, whenever someone raids us, we always play a special message from a friend. We haven't done this in a while, actually, just since we since we started streaming again. So, uh, please enjoy our amazing rare raid message <laughs> from our good friend, Mr. Gilbert Godfrey. <laughs> Enjoy your stay, and I want to give a Dang shout it. out. Okay, hold on a second. Shoot, why is that not working that way? Hold on a second. Gilbert Godfrey. Why is it not working? Hold on a second. From the tweet. It's coming through my speakers, not my headphones. Also, thank you, Nikki, for shouting out cards. Hope you're doing well. What were you opening today, cards? Um, hold on a second. I'm gonna get this figured out. Because I want this to work. Welcome people and told them to have a nice day. Now I can just die in peace.
So you guys couldn't hear that at all? I'm Gilbert Gottfried, and I want to welcome all the new I literally people did nothing else. from the Twitch raid. Enjoy your stay, and I want to give a shout out to Streamer that raided. They are awesome and wonderful. And uh, that's, this is all I wanted to do. That I did everything I wanted to do just now. My life is complete. Oh, I welcome people and told them to have a nice day. Now I can just die in peace. Oh boy! So, so you guys got so much more Gilbert than he than you probably needed. There we go. Hey, Bullet! Thank you so much for the two hundred bits. Oh, Cubone's down to the red now. There we go. Less than half. Less than half. Um, did I pay for that? Yes, I did. That was forever ago. I was gonna originally like get a bunch of different ones, and then since we kind of put pause on streaming for a while. I just, I just forgot about it. <laughs> so, there we go. There was Gilbert again. Welcome everybody in. But thank you again, Cards R Us. Hope you had a great stream. Thank you for the follow. And yeah, let us know if, uh, what you were, what you were opening. Um, all right, cool. So we're going to make a new prediction. We're going to do, are we going to open, uh, uh, V or higher? But two minutes, two minutes for that. The name of the prediction is not compliant with our content guidelines, okay? Will we pull a I'm going to say, are we pulling a full art card? There we go. Because a full art is basically the same thing. I always imagine that he's on the toilet. Yeah, it pretty much looks like that. It pretty much does look like that. So yeah, again, uh, full art is like VR, V, 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 V max. I'm going to, I'm just saying like a V works as a quote-unquote full art card because obviously like it's not like this Lugia here so bigger predictions we got five packs to open what other plans do people have for this weekend please let me know I'd love to hear about your guys days Like I said at the beginning of the stream, we're cooking some steaks tonight, which is going to be fun. Uh, tomorrow is for people that care about wrestling, which isn't a lot of people, but <laughs> I run a wrestling podcast, so I kind of got to talk about it. Uh, tomorrow is NXT TakeOver Vengeance Day, which that's exciting. Well, tomorrow is Valentine's Day, so my wife has plans. <laughs> with or without you <laughs> is the question, is the question bullet. Are those plans with or without you? <laughs> oh that's good i need to get back into nxt it's been great nxt has been awesome nxt and AEW are is the best wrestling right now raw if i could replace watching nxt watching raw with nxt i would do it instantly <laughs> 
Uh, SmackDown's pretty good, though. SmackDown is pretty good. So, it's getting better. It's getting better. There's still a few weird main roster, like, why would you do that? Why have a DQ finish here and there and stuff? But, Drew is good. Drew is a great champion. Drew is a great champion. Roman's an excellent champion. It's just that the rest of Raw is like, eh. Mm-mm. So, I should make a command for our podcast so that when I do talk about wrestling, I can mention it. If you don't know, I run a wrestling podcast with my co-host, Anthony, who's been on stream before. Uh, It's called Book It Vince. It's available everywhere. You can find podcasts uh, or you can catch the video version on our YouTube channel. You mean a DQ finish every fourth match and an interference slash distra- <laughs> distraction every other match? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's it's not an effective storytelling means. <laughs> but all right, we're looking for Anthony is great. Anthony is great. I'm trying to figure out how we can get Anthony more on the streams. Um I got some stuff cooking. Got some ideas brewing, but we'll see. I don't know. It was, I just want to I just want to integrate him more into into everyday content. Alrighty, one, two, three. So we're trying to find a full art card. I'm gonna guess water. Nope. We got a, a Gotharita. We got a Kaboo. We got a Turbo Patch, normal Turbo Patch. Uh, Diglett, Squovet, Shelmet, and Poor. Uh, Teddy Ursa. I love Teddy Ursa. He's so cute. Uh, reverse hollow larvitar and whoop, and a non hollow arctovish arctovish eek by the way if you're wondering oop we got a white card that could mean something uh, if you're wondering, our podcast goes up every Monday, sometimes Tuesdays, depends on how my editing goes and how my, uh, oh, did I do one, two, three? Yes, I did. I always forget. I always forget. <laughs> All right. We got a uh, Zuelos. We got a Fletch Hinder. We got a Rare Fossil. We got a Torchic. We got a tramp. Oh, uh, we got yarn tramp inch. That's awesome. We got Jigglypuff. We got Ducklet. Ducklet. Those eyes are terrifying, but he's so cute. But those eyes are terrifying. We got Carablast. We got a reverse hollow Mormal Morlil. And oh snap! Oh my god, what is this box? What is one second? What is this box? What is this box? This is so crazy. We've got three. <laughs> That's so awesome. There we go. It's it is a Z Yeah, it's a it's a Scizor VMAX, but it's the it's the rainbow version. This is a secret rare. See, look. This is the normal VMAX, and this is the rainbow rare secret VMAX. That's awesome. Hell yeah, dude. This is $22 card. Very nice. Hot diggity damn. That's awesome. Well, go to the prediction. Because everybody, everybody want anybody who said yes. There you go. That's so cool. We've gotten Two secret rares in this box. Gotten two secret rares in this box, and oh, that card's so. I love the. This is my first rainbow secret rare, actually. The 193 out of 189. This is my first rainbow card, and it looks so cool. It looks so dope. That's awesome. Double sleeve in it, cause 
it to be in as good condition as possible. That's so cool. That's so cool. I might as well pull all the... I might as well pull, like, the... Look at that. That's... That is... That is just nice. That is just nice. We're not even halfway through this box. We're not even halfway through this box, and it's wild. Second half of the box, just utter, utter trash. Will we get another one? I guess I could, I guess I could make a poll and be like, will we get another, another secret rare? <laughs> One, two, three. Uh, I'm gonna say lightning. Nope. We got uh, Corp Squire, Hiding Energy, uh, Fletch Hinder, Aeron, uh, Rook D, Wishy Washy, Wishy Washy, uh, Pan Sage, uh, Tauros, a, a Reverse Hollow Galarian Surfetched, and a and a regular Galarian Surfetched. There you go. It's A A Ron. Wait, is A it's not A A A it's not A A Ron, but it's just A Ron. He's A Ron. Look over there, there's Ron. Aaron. Fat finger no, it's okay. <laughs> Alright, another green card. Probably not anything crazy. One, two, three. I'm going to say Psychic. Ooh, yeah, look at that. We got a Lunatone, a Starvia, Pupitar, 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 whatever. Squovet, Shalmet, Anpor, Teddy Ursa, Rook D, a Reverse Hollow Melmetal. Nice, that's cool. And a Galarian Darmanitan. It's like I love that the Gal like the Galarian version of Darumaka is just like he's like all snowy instead of fiery, and then the Galarian version of D Darmanitan is like he's like a snowman that spits fire. <laughs> Next pack we'll have a Tarantar confirmed. Is there even a Tarantar in the set? You would hope so. You would think so. I actually don't know if it does. Uh, let's see. Let's not go there. <laughs> let's not do that. I meant to just do this. Um, what am I looking up? Oh wait, right. I forgot. I have a freaking thing I can go do. Oh, we got one more pack in this thingy. Uh, let's see. Uh, Sword and Shield. Darkness Ablaze. Darkness Ablaze. Uh, let's see. Two packs to two packs ago, we had Aaron. One tack. <laughs> Uh, anyway, we had a Larvitar a while back. <laughs> Listen, we had Larvitar, we had Pupitar, we need to have Tyranitar. Um, I don't think it does, this set does not have a, oh no, it does have a Tyranitar. It does. Uh, let me see if I can show it off. Oops. That, uh, yeah, so there's our boy. Tyranitar. Good. Might get it. Might get it. Who knows? Next, next vote. <laughs> next prediction. Will we have? Will we get Tyranitar? <laughs> next, next prediction. Will we get a Pokemon card? 
One, two, three. And steel. Hey, look at that. I was going to say, you were going to have to sue the Netherlands. I was going to have to sue Game Freak and Nintendo. <laughs> Struggle Gloves, Combuskin, Pupitar, Pan Sage, Electric, Fetchling, Flaring Mr. Mime, Burchick, Reverse Hollow Sinistee, and a Wigglytuff. Big boy Wiggles. All right. We're about halfway through. Actually, we're, hmm, let's see. We're Yeah, we're about halfway through now. So this is our Oh, we're halfway there. Oh, whoa. The Charizard's a prayer. <laughs> the Charizard's a prayer. Take my hand and we're living up there. Oh, we're living on a prayer. Sinistee seems like a Pokemon that was designed by an intern that loved puns. That's a lot of Pokemon, though. That's a lot of Pokemon. They're so good. These are so these are so cool. They're so cool. There's too many Pokemon that are like puns. Yeah, exactly. A lot of Pokemon are like, well, some the some of the original Pokemon's were all just Pokemon that are like. <laughs> Let's see. Um. <laughs> nice. Um. Is it true or replicate? I remember this from, I remember that from, uh, yeah, from the game. It's like, it's in the game. It's like, if it's like a true one, it has like a mark on it. That's that shows that it's a real, a real Sinisty. Notices your bulge there. <laughs> Notice that. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, what should the prediction be for this one? There's a watermark, yeah, on the bottom of it. Like where like where it would have like made in China or whatever. Like that's <laughs> made in Japan. Um We already got one gold card. I I, I have such a hard That's not the word I was looking to say. Hard was not the word I was wanting to use. I have a... <laughs> um, this this pack will have an insert favorite type here. That's pretty, that's pretty easy to do. Um, here's what we can do. So if you look, there are these full art trainer cards. Pierce, Rose, Kaboo. What do you do? Uh, are we going to get a full art trainer card? I, for I just forget how to say it. Oyo? Uyu? And the preview is not loading for me for the YouTube video. I'll have to check it out. Uh Oh, no. Definitely don't want to do that. Definitely don't want to do that. I did. Oh, I have a uh, YouTube tweeted or YouTube tweeted slime sickle. I made a tweet about furries. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I made a tweet about furries. <laughs> no, I have YouTube muted. Um, I got mute. I got YouTube muted. All right. I say we're going to do. Uh, are we going to pull a full art trainer card? There we go. Are we going to pull a full art trainer card? And that refers to one of these boys. 
There's a couple of them. There are then the the rainbow ones, which that's that'll be that'll be interesting if we can pull one of those. This one might be a bit trickier to do. So. But again, I want to say thank you to everybody who's hanging out, chilling, watching, even if you're just lurking. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Pretty crazy that right away, like in the first half of these packs, we got a gold trainer card, a Scizor VMAX, and a rainbow Scizor VMAX. It is a bit of a niche pick. It is a bit of a niche pick. You could get points for this. And by the way, if you're if you want like I don't know what I'm trying to say. By voting on predictions, you could win more channel points, and you can use the channel points for different things. Um, if you want to check out what different things we have for channel points, you can do exclamation point points, uh, or just check out the list that's on the Twitch page. And yeah. There's some cool stuff. We have a different Pokemon for who's that Pokemon today. Uh, we haven't played it yet, so. Uh, you can also make me do squats. You can give me a piece of candy. Uh, you can make me hydrate, all that stuff. At the moment, you only get rewarded with the, with what the others put in. So if someone puts 10 versus 100, the winner will always get 110. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, it's not like you double your points. It's like you get the, the total of what every, of what the, yeah, okay, yeah. Assuming it's a 1v1, right. Okay. Looking for a full art trainer card. Oh, we got a white card. We got a white card. One, two, three. Get a part of what people bet on the other side, right? Uh, I'm going to guess electric. Rookie is my favorite trainer. Hey, a Cape of Toughness. That's cool. A Vibrava. A Simiseer. Nice. Rookie D. Wishy Washy. Pan Sage. Tauros. Diglett. Uh, a, a Reverse Hollow Ducklet. And a uh, Holographic Golos Pod. Golisopod. Golisopod. I, I, I love Golisopod. Because he evolves from a whim pod, which is like the tiniest little like bug creature, and then it turns into this big friggin' monster. But uh, what else are people planning to do this weekend? I mentioned how I'm excited for the wrestling paper. Ooh, another white card. Uh, the wrestling pay per view. But what are other people got planned? I'm going to get steel. Oh, yeah, there's dark in this too. Pokemon are just 40% puns, 90% tongue twisters, and 30% references, right? <laughs> like Simapore, it's a monkey, so Sim. So, uh, 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 Simeon, uh, and then Poor because it's water. Uh, I'm learning a bit of French again. Ooh, nice. Uh, Corp Squire, Lunatone, Clink, uh, Marini, a Torchic, uh, Starly, a Skarmory, a, a Reverse Hollow Tor to Toxapex, and ooh, a Galarian Slowbro V. Very cool. Very cool. He's, I love, I, the Galarian Slowbro art is so funny because it's like he, instead of it biting his tail, it bites his arm and then he uses it to like, like Mega Man. <laughs> uses it like Mega Man. <laughs> Very cool. At least Pokemon, at least that Pokemon isn't broke. Just Simipore. Just Simipore. Just like a little bit. Just like Sim Simipore. 
Yeah, it shoots poison. <laughs> it's like it's like it it's like it's Mega Man. This is a two dollar card. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna double sleeve it. I'm not completely poor. I'm semi semi poor. Proto men are great. I love the proto men. I I've only heard a few of their songs. I've mostly heard them featured on like other other uh other artists. It's going to be a Right, this is a yeah, okay. So I did do it. It's going to be a water. Yeah, no, I, I haven't like listened to an album, but I what was it? It was years ago. Um, um, what's their most famous song? You look this up. You look this up. Light up the night. That's what it was. Yeah. Light up the night. I heard because it was on uh, it was in a uh, uh, video game high school uh, like the Freddie Wong uh, series. It was in that show. And then uh, there was a really good they were featured on uh, one of the last twerp albums. And I love that song. Um, I wonder if I can find it really quickly. Phantom Racer is the name of the song. I'll share it here in chat. Twerp is Twerp is really cool. They're they're a great band. They're from Canada. They make awesome like synth pop funk music. It's so good, so good. Okay, we got an Ursa Ring. We got a Combuskin, a Polti Geist, uh, Marini. We got Torchic. It's a clay Torchic too, which I love. I love this art. Uh, Starly, Skarmory. Pan Sage, a Reverse Hollow Relicanth, and a uh, Not Hollow Lugia. Not Hollow, but still Lugia, which is cool. Crazy that Lugia was like such a rare creature, but it's like, no, if the, the card's not, card's not, card's not, card's not shiny. Doesn't care. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if, if it ain't if it ain't shiny. Doesn't matter. Boom. Ooh, white card could be something. Could be something. One, two, three. Oh, okay. I'll have to check it out. I like their music. I do like their music. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to check it out. All right. I'm gonna say it's fire. We got a Pokemon Breeders Nurturing, a Combuskin, a Zuelos, a Rowlet, a Jigglypuff, a Diglett, a Panpour, a Spinarak, uh, a Reverse Hollow Pokemon Breeders Nurturing, and oh my god, <laughs> what's this? This pack? This pack with all the Scizors? We got? It's not a secret rare. It's not a secret rare, but it's a full it's a full art scissor V. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Wait. Yeah, I know it's not a secret rare. That's so cool. We have all the <laughs> we got all the scissors. I'm pretty sure we lit this is literally all of the no, because there's a scissor V. That's ridiculous. This is so silly. This is so silly. Look at this nonsense. Look at this. <laughs> we got almost all the scissors. 
Scizor V, V Max, Rainbow V Max. We're just missing the regular Scizor V. This is a $5 card, by the way. That's so funny. Maybe we'll get a, maybe we'll get a, uh, <laughs> we should just do a vote. Are we going to get the Scizor V? <laughs> All right, last card for this prediction. Will we get a full art trainer card? It's green, so probably not, but one, two, three. Uh, water. Nope. We got a Dedeen, Bird Keeper, Soul Rock, Wim Pod, Funnel B, Toxel, Sinus T, Kara Blast, a Reverse Hollow Paris. And a bear trick, bear trick, bear trick, bear trick. So we're just over halfway through this box. Um, next prediction: Will we get a scissor of any kind? <laughs> There's only four of them. <laughs> Actually, no, wait, there might be five. There might, there might be five. I'm gonna look. <laughs> I'm look and see if there's a if there's a differences or it would be a, um uh no it's just there's the v the there's the v the v max the full art v and then the rainbow v max so funny that's so this, this is so silly that we got i want a charizard <laughs> I want a Charizard. All right, we got, let's see. How far are we into the, we're about two hours into the stream. We got 15, technically 16 packs left. So we got like three predictions left. We got three predictions left. One of them definitely would be, are we gonna get the Zard? So in this set, there's, okay, so secret rare cards are the rainbow and gold cards. Those are the secret rare cards. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rainbow cards. There's five gold cards. Full art Vs are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's four full art trainer cards. There's one, two. How many V Max cards are there? One, two, three. Four. Five, five VMAX cards. So I think this prediction will do, are we going to pull a VMAX card? Oh, I didn't do this. Uh, no, we did not get a, no, we did not get a. And a VMAX, a VMAX card is also technically counting the, the, uh, the Charizard. Let's go ahead and put five minutes on this prediction. There's the Charizard. Okay, might as well show this then. Might as well show this off. There's the Charizard that we're looking for. Oh, technically also Rainbow counts as a VMAX. So there's the regular Charizard, there's the Rainbow Salamence, Eternus, Scizor, Butterfree, uh, uh, Sun Scorch. Yeah. All those would be cool to get. This is awesome. This so far has been a really good box. 
These scissors are the that's the that's the funnier that's the funnier thing is that all the scissors are so are so cool. <clears throat> My throat is parched. Um, what's something cool? That's something fun to talk about? Oh, I asked this on the Discord, but I might as well ask people here. Have has anyone here played um, Control? at all and if you have what is your opinion on it and should i play it not necessarily on stream i kind of just want to play it off stream i was i've seen a lot of gameplay from it before but i watched i watched a channel that i follow play it and it was someone's first time playing it and it was just such a cool looking game like i love the style of it like the kind of like David Lynch kind of pulp, pulpy, like freaky sci fi ness of it. So, if anyone's played it, please let me know because I really, I kind of I kind of do want to check it out. And I, I imagine it's been out long enough where it's not going to be that expensive to buy. I should play games that I have like in my library that I haven't touched yet, but. Like I, I have in my in my Steam library, I have um, uh, 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 Jedi Fallen Order, and I haven't played that yet, and I probably should. I also haven't beaten, um, haven't beaten Assassin's Creed Odyssey yet. I should probably try to do so. There's a two-day sale on Control, making it thirty-three Canadian dollars. Nice. I have to check that out. Is that on Steam? It just because it's it's it just a beautiful looking game, and the story is like really interesting and weird. Okay, I'm I'm definitely gonna pick it up on Steam then. If it's thirty three dollars, hell yeah. I've heard nothing but good things about it. Hey TCGG, hey Creepster Gamer. I was trying to say TCG, but how are you doing, Creeper? Creepster. Creepster Gamer, how are you doing? We've pulled some cool cards today. So far, we're, we're just over halfway through this box. And so far we've pulled uh, a gold secret rare turbo patch, a Scizor VMAX, a rainbow Scizor secret rare VMAX, a Slowbro V, and a Scizor V full art. So, and we're using, we're starting to use predictions. So on Twitch, you can use your channel points to vote on what you think we're going to, uh, what we're going to do. So the current prediction is, will we pull a VMAX card? Which a VMAX is like, uh, like, it's like these two. So there's Scizor VMAX. We're looking for the Charizard. Charizard. <laughs> we're looking for the Charizard, which is the chase card in this in this uh set and it's a 114 dollar charizard v max so we're looking for that card so we'll see but otherwise how you doing what you been up to is your weekend good so far hope everybody's weekend is great um so i might as well also mention that um we uh i've been uh uploading these streams to our gaming channel our YouTube gaming channel. So if you miss them, and you want to rewatch them, you can. Um, you've had an interesting night shift. Please tell us that. Fine. Just going to play a game. Nice. What are you going to play? Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So the streams are up on the gaming channel. Uh, I uploaded like the past bunch of uh, <laughs> streams just because I wanted to make it so that they only go up a week after they were live. Um, but this week I'm going to upload, um, probably try to upload an Among Us video. I'm going to look into that. If not, it'll be a Jackbox video. I think we have one more Jackbox video in like... Yeah, I think it's a game of um, 
What was it a game of? Oh, um, find the alien or whatever it is. So, yeah, it was a game of that. And so uh, we have a video for that that'll be coming out eventually. But I'll probably do to change things up. I'll probably do it. I'll probably edit together uh, an Among Us video of some kind. Uh, had a actual lunatic wanting to book a room. I'm only a guard. I can't get people in rooms. He wanted to pay me off the book. <laughs> I obviously refused at the end of the call. He needed a room because he got forced out of his house on illegal weapon charges. Oh, that's... Yeah, that is, uh... Ooh, there's, uh... A bunch of red flags there, for sure. <laughs> a bunch of red flags on that guy. <laughs> oh my god. I love how he told you all this all over the phone. He's like, hey, let me pay you on the side so I could have a room so <laughs> that I can come because <laughs> I got kicked out of my house for <laughs> legal weapon charges and sexual harassment. He called me later on to get a room the nice way. I asked if I asked if you were single. Oh my god. Oh, gross. That's so. Oh, man. Sep, that's so. Jesus. Whoever the. Oh my god. Obviously, yeah. Obviously, they were. They. They are absolutely deranged. Oh, I'm. Well, yeah. That's crazy. That is so crazy. He told you. He told you his name. Jesus. I hope that you told your bosses. That is crazy. That is so weird. Ugh, Jesus. Doing these predictions really passes the time. It feels weird that it's been five, it's been two hours. And that we only have 16 packs left. Um, let's see. Oh wait, we already did the thing, so we're looking for a VMAX. We're looking for a VMAX. Yep, yep. <laughs> Definitely, 100%. Yeah, no joke. That's crazy. I'm sorry you have to go through that. That's wild. Oh, we got a white card. Could be something good. One, two, three. Hold on a second. Ah, interesting. Look at this. <laughs> Look at that. I was, I was, I was moving the cards, and I went, "What the hell is? What the hell is this?" Look at that. We got an unclipped card. It's definitely a common, but it's an un, it's an uncut card. <laughs> it's got a, it's got a corner. That's so funny. Uh, I'm gonna say it is a grass. We got Turbo Patch. We got a Vibrava, uh, Gothorita. Uh, our uncut card, uncorner cut card, is a Marini. That's so funny. Didn't really go well because of well. Oh wait, he showed me how to do it with Ket. Well, well, I'm. I need to read back. Also, the guy before my shift wanted me to polish copper. He showed me how to do it with ketchup. In my morning shift, I was told we had a special liquid to polish copper with instead of ketchup. Jesus, it's so weird. Yeah, I know. The other half. It's it's funny. This half is is curved, and this half is straight cut. That's so funny. Uh, Purloin, a Starly, a Aaron, a Chub Chew, a Reverse Hollow Skitty, and now it's a uh, holographic Tapu Coco. Very cool. Imagine if you got a. Imagine if you got a. Actually, you probably it'd probably be worth more if it was an uncut. 
like uncut uh an uncut like se se secret rare one two three uh grass no. struggle gloves clang dartrix mareep paris gothita gothita skarmory a chub chew a, a reverse hall of vrava and a uh greedent this is the first time i've seen greedent it's the evolved form of uh squovit and it's just a bigger fatter hungrier uh squirrel Squirrel boy. Squirrel girl. Looking for a Vimax. A V. A VB Max. Oh, we got a white card. Could be something good. Could be something good. Uh, dark. Nope. We got Clang. We got Simisage. Uh, we got a Blowing Smoke. I know I just looked through these cards. I just really want to read what this card does. If the Pokemon this card is attached to is knocked out by damage from an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, that player discards any prize cards they would take for that knockout instead of putting those cards into the hand. Oh, cool. Okay. Funnel B, Toxel. Uh, Sinisti, uh, Carablast, Meltan, Reverse Hollow, Excalibur. Very cool. And, ooh, cool. It's not the Zard, but it's a Zard. It's not the Zard that we're looking for, but it is a Zard. It is a Zard. I believe this is an $11 card. Yeah, look at that. $11 card. It's because it's Charizard. The Scizor V Max is a five dollar card, but because this is a Charizard, it's a it's an eleven dollar card. Charizard V, not V Max. We're looking the the prediction is V Max, but it's still it's still cool. Like it's still really cool. Not the Charizard we want. Maybe it's the one that we deserve, though. Still got two packs on this prediction, so we don't know. Maybe we'll find something. Got some good pulls this pack. This 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 box has been great pulls. Um, what was something? Else? Oh, yeah. oh, I remember what I also wanted what I was thinking of talking about. I uh, I posted on the discord uh, me and my dad last week earlier this week. I don't remember green nothing. Um, We watched the first whatever episodes were up uh, for WandaVision. I, I want I loved it. WandaVision was great. Uh, Lightning. WandaVision has been great. I know the new episode came out yesterday, or technically last night, I guess. Um, Relicanth, as well as Familiar Bell. Uh, it's very familiar, would you say? Uh, Fletchling, Wimpod, Grimer, Clink, Ducklet, a Reverse Hall, uh, Didin, and a uh, Diggersby. Diggersby is the evolved form of Bunnelby. Just a bigger. I love. I do love the fact that Diggersby, like the ears, look like muscles. <laughs> like the ears look like fists. <laughs> I'm excited. I think tonight we're gonna watch. I think tonight we're gonna watch. Uh, uh yesterday's episode. All right, we got one more pack for this prediction. Will we get a V Max? Ooh, it's a white card. Could, could possibly get one. One, two, three. Uh, dark. Nope. All right, we got Piers. We got powerful energy. We got a uh, Toxapex. 
It's just that little tiny dude in there, and then this is its hair. <laughs> uh, Paris, uh, Gothita, Scar Marie, Chub Chu, a Wimpod, a Reverse Hollow, Soul Rock, and boom! Oh, oh shit! Oh my god! Pull the friggin' da! Ah! We did it! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, we did it! Put this in a little bit easier. I put it away and be really gentle because it's a hundred dollar card. And that's what we do. We're gonna double bag it. We're double bagging it. Put the boo. So now that we can handle it. Okay. Off anime lines. That's awesome. We got it. That's the Zard, baby. That's the friggin' Zard. That is the Zard. That's the Zard. Ah! That's the Zard, baby. Oh my god, nice. That's so cool. That is crazy. That's the first time I've opened a booster box and gotten the card. It's obviously it's not like the rarest card, but it's still like like technically this card is not as rare as like the rainbows in terms of like uh in terms of like what's it called? Like rarity of like how many are What's the, where are the chances of getting it in the pack? But this is the most sought after card in this set, so. That's awesome. And we still have, like, like seven packs to go. But yeah, we, <laughs> we've gotten three scissors and... Well, we did get a, a slow pro V. But yeah, look at this. Scissor V Max, Scissor... Rainbow Scissor V Max, Scissor V Full Art, Charizard V, and uh, Charizard V Max. There's no rainbow version of this in this set. It's in there. Well, there is a rainbow version of this card, but it's in an, it's in uh, another set. I actually think it's going to be in Battle Styles, which is the newest set to come out. It's coming out in March, so that's going to be the card to try to go after. But oh, that's awesome, dude! That's so cool. And the, and and the cherry on top is that. Every, and the cherry on top is that Reese, <laughs> Re, uh, Reese and someone else said, yes, we're going to get a VMAX card. I wish it could be more points. I really wish I could be giving you guys more points because this is just awesome. But there you go. You voted yes and you got it. That's awesome. That is so cool. I'm just reveling in this moment. That's, that's dope. That is dope. That is so cool. That is great. Oh no, wait, we have nine packs. Oh no, we have 11 packs left. We have 11 packs left. Why did I say seven? We have 11 packs left. Damn, dude. Friggin' diggity damn. So dope. Oh, man. I feel good. <laughs> I feel great now. That's awesome. That's so cool. Obviously, to complete the set, it's gonna be so much harder. I know, I'm holding a hundred, I'm holding a hundred and fourteen dollars. Or a hundred euros in my hand with this card. It's stupid. It's so funny. It's so, it's so, it's so super fun. So cool. It's so cool. Ah! That's great. Well, we got the Zard. We got the Zard. Now I guess the question is, are we gonna get... Any more of these secret rares? Are we gonna get... We got one secret rare so far. We have 11 packs left. Are we going to get any more secret rares? Like, are we going to get any of these rainbow 
uh, trainers or these rainbow V maxes or these gold cards. Hello, Kaylee of two. Any codes? Any codes? Uh, I like keeping the codes for myself. So I actually I actually have like I think I have like a thousand code cards that I haven't used yet. Um, but look, but look, we got the we got the Zard. We just pulled the friggin Charizard VMAX. That's crazy cool. Or over uh, 2,500 Zim Shroom. <laughs> Caleb 2, welcome in. Thank you very much for the follow. Hi there. Uh, my name is Marty. I run Unknown Air Films. We create a bunch of different content online. On Saturdays, we stream at 3 p.m. Eastern, opening Pokemon cards. And today we're opening Darkness Blaze, and we pulled the Charizard. We still have 11 packs to go. We've pulled so far... We've pulled so far the Charizard V Max, Charizard V, Scizor V, Full Art, Slowbro V, Scizor V Max Secret Rare Rainbow, and Scizor Regular V Max. Oh, and then a, a gold. Oh, and then, you know, just a gold turbo patch, whatever. <laughs> that's so cool. The only, the only thing that sort of is like, I'm so happy about that. It then also just makes me real, remember like, Man, trying to get like a full complete set of cards nowadays is so tough because, you know, there's how many gold cards? There's five gold cards. Trying to get all five of them is ridiculous. Trying to get all the rainbows. You just got to open packs upon packs upon packs. But we got 11 more packs. Two more predictions. Well, technically three more predictions. Because we'll do a prediction on the very last pack that uh, that Sept had picked. Um, I guess what we'll do is we'll do a prediction for are we going to get a rainbow or gold card? Let's go. Let's go big for this one. And then we'll go small for the next one. There we go. Will we pull a rainbow or gold card? So we're looking for, you know, uh, on the rainbow uh, VMAX cards, rainbow trainer cards, like these, uh, or any of the gold cards. This has been a good box so far. It's crazy. Pulling that, uh, what was it? When we did the Vivid Voltage last week, or not last week, the week before. What was our best card that we pulled from that? The best card, I think the best card that we pulled from that was those two awesome rares. Like there's an awesome rare Jirachi and an awesome rare Rayquaza. You know, that was the best card that we pulled. But in terms of like, actually I can look. If I sign into my Poke Collector account. Uh, let's see, Vivi Voltage. Vivi Volts. Um, didn't get any of the gold cards from that booster box. Didn't get any of the rainbows from that booster box. Didn't get any... We got one full art. We got one full art card from that booster box. We got a full art Alakazam V. Which is still cool. Um... We got a couple of other V cards, like we got an Aegislash V, a Togekiss V. Oh, uh, I knew there was a reason I kept Hey, it. Alric! And it wasn't the sparkling conversation. Alric, dude! That's awesome! Thank you so much! Alric, welcome on in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'd go ahead and do this. I spelt it incorrectly, so that's why. But then I also will do a shout out for. Oh, I'm doing it over there. Here we go. So if you don't remember Alric, 
because we were oh death stranding nice raiders of the <laughs> lost ark <laughs> nice uh if you don't remember alric alric uh has been on the stream before we played uh there is one of my favorite yeah it's been a long time one of my favorite streams was us playing i think us beating in one stream uh overcooked that was a great one that was a great one and you were playing death stranding how was that dude how is streaming going i hope it's going well uh so we've been pulling by the way if anyone was watching all our extreme uh and st is still here hanging out um hey my name is marty i run unknown error films uh we stream every right now we stream every saturday at 3 p.m eastern um Opening Pokemon cards. Um, yeah, Overcooked was so much fun. Um, today we're opening up a, pa a booster box of uh, Pokemon uh, Darkness of Blaze. Um, whoops. And uh, we actually have pulled the... We just pulled the Charizard VMAX card. Um, here's what we've gotten so far today. Blech. Uh yeah, we got we got the Charizard VMAX. This is the this is the card of the set. This is the card of the set. Uh we got Charizard V, Scizor V, full art, uh Slowbro V, Scizor V Max, Rainbow, uh Scizor V Max, regular full art, and a uh gold turbo patch. This has been a great box so far. It's been a great box. Um, and actually right now on the channel where there is a prediction going on. Is that one worth several thousand dollars yet? No, maybe in like 20 years it will be. <laughs> maybe in like 20 years. Right now, no. Right now there's a prediction going on and you can use channel points um, to predict if we're going to pull a uh, rainbow or gold card in these next five packs. So we'll see. Uh, you know, I used to play the Pokemon TCG. Nice. I have only played it a couple times. Uh, I really want to get back into playing. Actually, downloaded it. I I want to get back into playing uh, the online version because it's really easy to use and like they give you decks to play with, and it's really handy if you happen to uh, buy cards because they give you all these code cards to then claim. So I'm going to need to, I'm going to need to go on and go on and, um, try that again. Um, I have like over a thousand code cards that I've gotten through, like buying collect people's collections online and from opening all these packs over the past couple of weeks. So I need to go and like just spend a day just like scanning the cards and seeing what I get. I could do that as a stream too. So, all right, we got five packs here where we got 11 packs left. We're going to see if we get a in these five. The prediction is, are we going to get a rainbow or gold card? We will have to see. But yeah, I've been collecting Pokemon cards for a long time. There was a giant period where I didn't collect cards at all. And so I've been now going back and I bet all my pixels for yes. There we go. There we go. That's what you gotta do. You gotta go balls in. Uh, Wimpod, Grimer, Link, Ducklet, Mareep. Uh, oh, oh wait, I didn't do the one, two, three. One, two, three. My bad. Uh, fire. No, I'm stark. Okay, we now we get to see what these other. What we didn't see what our our main card is. Vanillish, Clang, uh, Gotharita, Wimpod, Grimer, Clink. Ducklet, <laughs> Mareep, a uh, reverse holo Torchic, and a Talonflame, not hollow. Um, but yeah, I collected, I mean, I collected Pokemon cards when I was younger. I And I still have all my cards, and they're still in all really good condition. Um, and I've been slowly just putting them into... Um, I've been putting them into like binders and stuff. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, steel. Uh, putting them into binders and just like seeing what I have, what I don't have. I'm just saving for the squats. 
Let's see, Larion, Old PC, uh, Arados, uh, Larvesta, Morel, Toxel, Skitty, Rowlet, a Reverse Hollow, Skarmory, and a Aswana. 2,000 pixels is for 2,000 squats. Mm, more like, more like divide that by 200. <laughs> It'll definitely be for 10. I will do 10 deep squats. You won't get it. I also hope that it will appear on camera in the best way possible and not be un not be not be a not be something that people go okay I'm tuning I'm tuning out a white card that could be something good one two three uh electric yeah look at that does that mean it's a good thing does that mean we're gonna get a card I don't know we got a soul rock we got a kaboo we got a semi sage we got a Q fant we got a sinist free bass I love this free bass card. Just moving torso, your head not showing up on camera. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I love this free bass because it just looks like he's drowning in the middle of the water. Just be like, oh my god, save me, please. Uh, a Passimian. Uh, a Fletching. Fletchling. A Reverse Hall Gotharita. And boom. A Salamance V. A Salamance V. Not a rainbow or gold card, but still, that's awesome. That's so cool. I'm trying to still be hype about like, hey, cool, a Salamance V. That's awesome. But like, nothing is more hype than the Charizard V Max. <laughs> like having like getting the getting the gold cards will still be really cool if we get another gold card. But like nothing is more hype than Charizard V Max. Still cool though, so I'll give it a little bit of a a little bit of a ah. Uh, so there we go. Salamance V is a two dollar card. Two more packs on this bish. Sa Salamance is pretty cool. He's he's like a giant airplane. <laughs> he looks like a giant airplane. When you really look at him, he looks like a giant, like, well, it's hard to explain, but he's just like a giant angular dragon with like, it looks like a child drew him, which I love. I just love the, I, I do love the style. Ooh, we got a white card. One, two, three. But like the way that he is in like some of the games is he's just like this, where he's very flat, <laughs> angular, <laughs> angular.io dragon. <laughs> where he's like very flat and if a child drew Salamance, who drew Dragonite? Uh, an infant. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say grass. We got a Shenotic, Rose Tower, and a Simiseer. We got a Golet, Free Bass, a Purloin, being all fucking mm. a Hippopotas, a Sentret, a uh, Reverse Hollow, Galarian Mr. Mime, and a Holographic Arc Arctozolt. Arctozolt. This is one of the fossil. Pokemon from Sword and Shield that like has like is like mismatched and stuff. <laughs> One more pack in this prediction. Will we get a gold or a rainbow card? Oop, it's a green. That's not looking good. One, two, three. No, yeah, it's super goofy. Well, the thing is that uh, people people think that um um a lot of people think that Dragonair, Dragonite. Oh no, sorry, uh, Dratini, Dragonair was then supposed to turn into something like Gyarados. Um. But then for some reason it go it's it's just because it does not look anything like Dragonite looks nothing like Dragonair. And that's what bugs me. But at the same time, it's so it's cute and I like it a lot. <laughs> uh did we do one, two, three? No, we did. Okay. I always forget if we did one, two, three. Yeah. Okay, we got Rose. Uh Vanillish. 
Poltegeist. Moral. Toxel. Super sad boy Toxel. Bad boy. Skitty. Rowlet. Wishy washy. A Malo oh, a reverse hollow melodic. Oh, cool. Love it. And a Amphra. I love it. Okay. I know that this is just a rare card. It's not hollow or anything. Oh! Oh! Nice! Alaric, thank you so much for subbing for two months. That's awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Man, Rogue's not, Rogue is not, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna, okay, we got a, we got an Ampharos. I'm just gonna say Ampharos is one of my favorite Pokemon, so I, I, I'm kind of happy about that card. Even though it's not secret rare or whatever, it's still one of my favorite Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> Rogue's not gonna be happy that, uh, <laughs> that Cubone's getting really low. <laughs> but, someone can finish off Cubone. They get to put their, they get to put their Pokemon up there. Okay, so we did not pull the prediction. We did not pull a gold or rainbow card. Sadly, sadly, we did not. But thank you, Alric, for, re for, for subbing. That's so nice of you, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it a lot. We got six packs left. We got six packs left. We got five for another prediction. And then the chosen last card from Septium because he was the first person to resub today. Um, so we'll do two more predictions. We'll do one for this and then we'll do one for that. What would be a good prediction for this? Oh, snap. Sept has redeemed get squatting. Okay, let's. Okay, let's 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 see how I do this. Thank God these are wireless. Thank God these are wireless. Okay. I'm gonna do some some deep squats. Okay. Are you gonna comment on my form sept? <laughs> also, look at my awesome Brody Lee Exalted in Heaven Legacy shirt. R.I.P. Brody Lee. Okay. <laughs> okay. Feet shoulder width apart. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Nine. <laughs> I'll do 15. I'll do 15. 11. 12. 13. 14. 15. If you stretch them out in front of you, it adds a what, like this? Sadly, my desk is right here, so I can't. I'd have to back up to do that, but maybe next time. <laughs> do this after hydrate. Thank you, Sept. <laughs> I probably would have hydrated anyways, but thank you for. Mm. Force me to hydrate. Exactly. There we go. Thank you so much. <laughs> Woo. The question is, will there be a day where like 10 people all do it at once? <laughs> and then I just have to sit here and do like 50 squats. Oh yeah, I, uh, I try to every single day do stretches and at least like some physical like like if if I'm just feeling sort of stiff, I'll just get up and like just do instead of like uh instead of like grabbing weights and doing like anything, I'll just like I'll just do like movements so I can use my just get my body moving.
I do need to work out more. It's been hard with like just staying at home and getting the motivation to do so. We got five more packs plus the last pack. So I guess the uh, prediction for these will be, uh, let's do, are we gonna pull a V or higher? Are we gonna pull, are we gonna pull, actually no, not a V, we'll do full arts. Are we gonna pull a full art or higher? That'll be a good one. And the last, the last prediction will be, will we pull another Charizard? That'll be the last prediction. Are we gonna pull another Charizard? Slowpo coming with the Alric raid, get raided. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, Curtisms, for the for for saying hi and coming in from all Stream and also uh, for the follow. Thank you very much. My name is Marty. I run Unknown Era Films. I've had Alric on uh, our channel before a while ago, but it was because before COVID and all that stuff, we used to do a lot of group things. But sadly, uh, not for a while. Maybe in the future and maybe we'll be able to do more online stuff now that everybody's sort of accustomed to online activities. Um, but what I've been doing here on our Twitch page is every Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern opening Pokemon cards. Uh, today we're opening uh, Darkness of Bla the Darkness of Blaze booster box and we got some pretty good pulls. Um, we also we also do videos on YouTube. Um, uh, we got a podcast if you're into wrestling. If you happen to be into wrestling, we have a wrestling podcast. Um, but yeah, thank you for the follow, and hopefully we'll get to talk to more of you. May the almighty Rayquaza grant you a dozen Rainbow Zards or whatever it fucks in the set. Speaking of which... Uh, let's see, we got a gold turbo patch so far. We got a... Uh, a uh, VMAX Scizor, a Rainbow Scizor VMAX, a Galarian Slowbro, a Full Art Scizor V, a Charizard V, THE Charizard VMAX, and a Salamence V. No Rainbow Zard in this set. That's coming up soon, though. The Rainbow Zard is coming up uh, in the next big set that's coming out that one will probably if this is like a hundred dollars i'm sure that that one's gonna be like ridiculous actually wait hold on a second what's in champion's path oh no oh no champion's path has the charizard v my bad so champion's path has the shiny Charizard V and the Char Rainbow Charizard V Max. And those are both $350. I'm actually waiting. I just ordered a bunch of Champions Path cards. Not cards, packs. So, might be able to find those boys. And that'll be another stream, though. But we got, we got, we got the, we got the, we got the big boy in this set at least. That's cool. But how are you doing, Kurt? Hope that you're well. Hope you're having a great weekend so far. Doing anything fun? I love uh, on these streams just using the time of like, yeah, I get to open up cards, which is fun and all that stuff. But I like interacting with y'all and and uh, and saying hi and getting to talk to you and and hang out and see how you're doing. So what? Yeah, you know, I'd love to know what you're planning on doing this weekend. I was getting bubble tea, and when I came back, your stream was on. Oh, well. How's your bubble tea? I've never actually had bubble tea. Uh, the idea of... Also, I just realized this. Someone might not notice this. Uh, you can see that... <laughs> maybe it's because the camera's not totally over. Or maybe I've just moved. I don't know. You can see that... <laughs> that... that <laughs> that uh that lampshade moving and it was because it's because right below or right next to where the lamp is there's a um there's a uh oh, what's it called what is it called what 
Puts moisture in the air. Why am I a ghost? <laughs> what the hell is what is what is it? A uh, uh, humidifier. A humidifier. There's a humidifier right there, and the the vent points directly up. So then it just hits that. <laughs> It's that, that lamp, <laughs> and so it's moving it. I just noticed the two, I was like, I was just looking at the screen and went, oh, I wonder if someone's wondering why that lampshade's moving. <laughs> but no, seriously, I'm being haunted. I'm being haunted. Okay, so we're gonna do another prediction for our last. We have six packs so far. We're gonna open the very, very last one last, and that'll be its own prediction. We got five more packs here for a prediction. The prediction is gonna be, uh, do we pull a full art card or higher? Will we pull a full art card? So, what you can do here, if you don't know, is a uh, you can use channel points to bet on your prediction. And so you get channel points just by watching the stream or by doing things like following and subbing and gift and and uh, uh, donate or not donating, but cheering bits. And you can use the channel points for a lot of different things. There's a lot of different rewards. Uh, one thing that hasn't happened yet today, although Sep was saving up so he could make me do squats. But we also have one called Who's That Pokemon, where we bring on a special guest uh, Pokemon onto the stream, and if you want to check out what that is, um, you can check our social media, uh, because I uploaded the video of... of it. No one will win if none of us believe. <laughs> hey, if you go, yes, I want you to pull a card, but you're like, I don't think you're gonna, that's totally fine. I believe, I, 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 I'm okay with that. But yeah, if you check out our Twitter or Instagram, you can find a video of what who that po who's that Pokemon is, and it's so stupid. I love it. Um, but yeah, you can use these to bet on if uh, if something's gonna happen, and I love the Im implementation of predictions. So a full art card, if you if you don't know, is basically like a Vmax card, uh, a rainbow card, uh, a gold card, or there's also a uh, full art. V Pokemon, so like this Crobat is a full art card. Like that, that is technically not a full art card. That is, so. Who knows? We only got six packs left. We only got six packs left, so. Can't find it on Twitter. It's gonna be a little, actually, I should just pin it to the top. I should just pin it. It's definitely on our Instagram. It's like the first thing on our Instagram page, but I'm going to pin it to the top of... Oh, it's like the third tweet down. But I'll pin it to the profile. Octo, you've missed some crazy stuff. We got six packs left. I hope that you're having a great day, though. I'm gonna put this in order of coolness. There we go. I'm putting, I'm putting this in order of coolness. So this is what we've gotten so far. We got Salamance V. We got a Galarian Slowbro V. We got Charizard V, which is pretty good. It was pretty good. But we got a Scizor V full art. We got a, oh, I should have switched these, but we got a a both a rainbow scissor v max and a regular scissor v max we got a gold turbo patch and we got the charizard we got the charizard v max this is a 114 dollar card which is crazy we got it though we got it Um, you also missed me doing squats, um, Sept, uh, Sept, uh, Sept, um, uh, uh, got him, boys. Uh, Sept redeemed making me doing, make me, to make me do squats, so you missed that, but 
I hope you're having a great day, Octo. We still got six packs open. So we just did a prediction about if we're gonna pull a fort with these next five packs. And then we got the last the last the last pack. So Alright, are we gonna pull a full art card? Let's see. We haven't uh who's that Pokemon has not shown up yet today? Just to let just to let people know. So if someone wants to do that before the end of the stream. I'm gonna go for sit-ups and general health. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> Alright, what's well, the green back? So probably not, but let's see what we got. I'm gonna guess grass. All right, we got a Piers. We got a Vanillish Ursa Ring, Snubble, Meltan, Bunnelby, Paris, Larvitar, a Reverse Hollow Snubble, and a uh, not a Hollow, but a Excelgor, which is pretty cool. What have you been up to today, Octo? Hope you're having a good one. Hope you're having a great one. Tonight is is uh stay okay. <laughs> tonight for us is um maybe maybe get to well no actually we'll probably will watch the newest uh wandavision um green again dang gonna watch the newest wandavision uh and uh we're gonna be doing um cast iron steak for the first time so i'm excited about that i had some shoppies to do and it's much harder when you have a uh, when you have to dodge people who refuse to wear a mask oh man that sucks yeah thankfully everybody around here is really cool with it so we haven't had that kind of issue yet but uh grass uh we got a didini or squire Vivrava, Free Bass, Erloin, Hippopotas, Centret, Larvesta, or wait, yeah, Larvesta, a Reverse Hollow Blowing Smoke, and a Hippowdon. Used to, I could just barge through assholes, but the virus complicates that strategy. <laughs> Um, I forget if this is, I forget if this is in the set. Oh, no, yeah, we haven't even seen an Internus so far. I'd love to get an Internus card. That'd be dope. We haven't seen one at all yet. Oh, no, another green back. That's not looking good for this. Not looking good for this. Oh, uh, I'm going to say uh, Psychic. Nope. We got a Falafi. Carnivine, big parasol, just a big old umbrella. A big old umbrella. A Carablast, a Glarian Daramaka, a Larvitar, a Nicket, a Boon Sweet, uh, a Reverse Hollow, uh, a Fetch Hinder, and a Dela uh, Del Caddy. Del Caddy. Super cute. Super cute. Love it. Two more packs in this prediction. Will we get a full art card? Just looking for a full art. Nothing crazy. White could be big. What is it? We'll get hyped. I'm guessing fire. No. All right. We got a familiar bell. We got Rose Tower. We got Steny. Steny, -ny -ny -ny. we got Melton. We got a Bunnelby, we got a Paris, Larvitar, Golet. We have a Reverse Hollow Tauros and a Holographic Darkrai. Not as cool, but still cool. Just not as cool as if it was something big. Also, Donald Trump's been acquitted from impeachment again. Stream's over. <laughs> <laughs> Still a cool dark eye. Still a cool dark eye. Really? He got acquitted? Jesus Christ.
What a big pile of poo. All right, but let's not let that get us down. We got a white. This could be something. This could be a card. We're getting hyped. They got two more. Two more packs. Wasn't Dark Darkrai in a movie I watched once? Yeah, he is a legendary. So. We got two more packs. We got this one and the final, the final pack. Come on, we're looking for a full art. We're, we're just looking for a full art. I'm going to guess. Grass. Hey, look at that. All right, come on, come on, boys and girls, let's do it. Okay, we got a dark, dark tricks. We got a star, Ravia, Shenotic, Rookie D. We got Torchic. We got Trap Inch. We got a Jigglypuff. We got Ducklet. We got a Reverse Hollow Piers, and finally, boom! It's not a, it's not a full art. It's not a full art, but it's an Internus. Which I was just saying, it, I haven't pulled an Eternus at all today, so that's cool. Yeah, actually, and I was saying that we we haven't pulled an Eternus yet because I was gonna bring up the comment about how Bullet was saying, yeah, it's very pointy. This is a very very pointy card. It's a very pointy card. <laughs> Technically not a full art because the uh, the V Maxes and the yeah, this is technically not a not a full art. Still cool. Still very cool. Like it. Yeah, no. Very pointy. Very pointy Pokemon. Very pointy Pokemons. <laughs> Though there is art all over the card. <laughs> Sadly, not a full art card. So. Oop. All right, we got one final pack. We got one final pack, and this prediction will be, are we going to get the 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 Charizard again? Are we going to get, are we going to get, are we going to pull two Zards? Pack 26, baby. Are we, the prediction is going to be, are we going to pull <laughs> Are we going to pull the Charizard again? Because <laughs> why not? But we pulled some great cards today. I'm super, I'm super happy. We pulled some great cards today. Oh, whoops. I meant to put, I got to put this here. Yeah, no, we got, you know, Eternus V, Salman's V, Slowbro V, Charizard V, which is pretty cool. Scizor V Full Art, Scizor V Max Rainbow. I'm going to switch these because this is way better. Uh, Scizor V Max. Scizor, VMAX Rainbow, Gold Turbo Patch, and then, of course, the Charizard VMAX. All signs point to no, says the Magic 8 Ball. Well, you know what? We put fate in our own hands. Even though that has nothing that we can't do anything literally about that in this instance. We can only hope. We can only hope and, and wish luck on the Pokemon gods. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ugh. Oh, this has been a great stream. Awesome pulls, awesome conversations. Hope everybody had a great week. I know it's not getting any easier out there in the world, but we got each other. Guys try to stay positive. Um and yeah, so what was like um what was it? Um to update people on what's coming up, I guess, with the stuff that we're doing online till the next stream. Uh, as I organize all the cards that are laying around on the desk here. Um, this next week, I'm hoping to put out a uh, a uh, uh, Among Us, that's the words I was looking for. Uh, hoping to put out an Among Us video on the gaming channel. I think that'll probably come out on Wednesday. Hopefully. 
if I don't get around to be able to edit it, then I'll probably throw out, throw up, throw up. Uh, we have one more. We have to put, uh, no, what am I friggin' saying? <laughs> Might put up a Jackbox video. We have one more Jackbox video in the can. We gotta record some more. I'm gonna reach out to some people. But, uh, I definitely have a lot more potential for a, uh, for some edited Among Us game gameplay, so hopefully people enjoy that. I'm uploading these streams onto the gaming channel now, so if you miss them or you want to rewatch them, you can go and do that um, in their entirety. Uh, obviously, a, a new episode of Book It Vince, our wrestling podcast, is going to be up on Monday. Uh, this one is a f this one I'm actually really excited about. Um, I don't know if we'll do the best but it's it, it i'm i just love doing the podcast so um yeah we'll see what else happens you know just just trying to make fun stuff and enjoy life i do have that va uh vaccination time put in for not long from now so i'm guessing work will choose about choose about then to try to give me my next training I do have oh vacation. Why I say vaccination? Probably because I had the vacation time, vacation time, not vaccination time, vacation time. I was a little confused. You have vacation time put in for not long from now, so I'm guessing work will choose about choose about then to try to <laughs> give me my next training. I see. Early call. How do you feel about eliminate cha elimination chamber so far? Um, me and Anthony. Uh, kind of both said that we're a little shaky on the raw elimination chamber. Um, I think that I, I genuinely do think that they, it will be a good match. Um, mostly just because of drew. And then you have like Seamus in there. Miz is going to do some, some ridiculous stuff. Morrison will probably get involved somehow. Um, it should be a good match The Smackdown Elimination Chamber is looking dope so far. It's looking really, really, really good. Um, like the only person in it that I kind of wish was switched was I wish instead of Corbin, it was Shinsuke Nakamura. So that's the only thing. But like you're going to get a Sammy and Kevin face off. Um, Daniel Bryan's amazing. Cesaro's been on such a tear lately, which is awesome. Um, it's it's just it's just really funny how it's like, yeah. So the winner of the Elimination Chamber is going to then face Roman Reigns that very night. It's like, well, obviously they're not going to beat Roman Reigns, but oh, and Jay and Jay's Jay's in there too, which is great as character due to his boss. Yeah, exactly. That one will be interesting. That'll be interesting. If Jay wins and then he's just like completely destroyed and has no energy left and then Roman just comes out and just and beats the crap out of him, that'll be funny. But I kind of wish there was a women's women's one. It, it, my my whole thing with Elimination Chamber has been that it I don't know why they put it for 3 weeks. Or just lays down for a win. That would be a good one, too. I don't know why Elimination Chamber is three weeks after the Royal Rumble. Like, WrestleMania isn't until the beginning of April. Why didn't they put Elimination Chamber in the beginning of March and then allow for, like, a month build towards the show? Well, there, there's no story reasons for any of the Elimination Chamber matches. It's just like, all right, this is who's in it. Enjoy. I think it was just very last minute. Uh, it makes me wonder, though, because Royal Rumble is January. Elimination Chamber is February. There's still March. Are they going to put a pay-per-view in March before WrestleMania? That's the only thing that I'm not looking forward to. If they do that and it's fast lane, then what the hell is gonna, even going to be on that pay-per-view? It's literally like the, the weeks away from WrestleMania. It's like, what's the point? The... Elimination Chamber should have been beginning of March. That would have given a month build up to the pay per view and then another month to WrestleMania. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, the former champs idea is smart. 
I I will give him I will give him that like it's fair. Let's just like yeah, former champions. You have to basically it's like hey Drew, a you've never been in an elimination chamber match. Everybody else competing in this has been. Also, all of them are former champions. Um, all of them are former champions. So basically, you got to beat five former WWE champions in order to go to WrestleMania. Like I do like I do like that idea. And then the Roman one, it was. There were some cool qualifier matches, which was nice. Um, we'll see how it turns out. I'm excited, though. I'm really excited. Okay. That's all for the wrestling talk this stream. We got one last pack before we close out today. This pack was specifically picked by Septium, Unceptium. And the prediction will be... Will we find another Charizard? I will say this is also going to count for if we get a Charizard V, I'll let it count for that because that's cool. But you know what I'm looking for. I'm hoping we get another Charizard V Max. But go ahead, make your predictions, vote with your channel points. Are we going to pull another Charizard? Are we going to pull another Charizard? If we pull the Charizard V, that's cool. I'm okay with that. But you know, I'm looking for this boy. This is definitely one where I'm like, this is probably a guaranteed win for everybody if they vote no. <laughs> but but if people vote yes and we do it, then that's hype. <laughs> that's more That's more what it is for people. But we got one pack left. So uh, I talked about what we're doing on the channels next week. Uh, next week's stream... Um, I don't have them here to show, but, um, I, I was in Walmart and I saw at their, like, cause I, cause every time that we go to Walmart to buy groceries and stuff, I go, I obviously will go by the card section and go, okay, what do they got there? Can I pick up something to, you know, can I pick up something to maybe, um, Maybe buy and just open just for fun or whatever. Um, and they have those like boxes where it's like 20, like like 30 cards or whatever. And like you're guaranteed one foil card or whatever. And usually it's pretty crap. But um, I thought there's got to be more stuff like this. So I I bought a couple of those. I bought a couple of... Um, I found these ones on, I, I found these ones from Best Buy where it's like, it's a pack of six cards and they're guaranteed all foil cards. So who knows what the hell is even going to be in them? Probably crap, but it's still interesting. And then I found a bunch of things online where it's like people making mystery boxes. So I bought a couple of them. And so basically we're going to be next week's stream is just going to be opening mystery Pokemon mystery boxes to see if we get anything good. Like the ones that I then found were like, yeah, this is a Pokemon mystery box is basically like they give you like five, five mystery packs. There was one called Zard box, which I'll pull up the thing here for it. Obviously, then the whole idea between of Zard box is that it's you get So it's this right here. So that they do have like regular old like Pokemon stuff on here on their website, but like this is the whole thing is like Zard box. Inside you get two booster packs, you get a holographic card. Uh when I first bought it, well actually when I when I first bought it, it was way less packs. It was like four different packs that you could possibly get stuff from. But the whole idea is like that. These are all packs that have a Charizard in them. So, you know, Champions Path, Celestial Storm, um, Shining Legends, Vivid Voltage. So Shiny Star V, XY Evolutions. So who knows? The whole idea is that like, hey, you get a, you get a Charizard. 
So, I got a couple of those. So who knows? We could, I'm just excited because it's just the fun idea of like, oh cool, like, random Pokemon packs that we don't know what we're gonna get. But, thank you for everybody who's been hanging out today so far. Uh, might as well use this time to be able to read off. Switch back to here. Might as well use this time to read off awesome stuff people did this stream. Um, we had Unceptium subscribe resub for nine months, which is incredible. We had Cards Are Us host or, or rate us, um, and then they gave us a follow, which thank you to them. Uh, Bullet Catcher, you uh, cheered 200 bits. Thank you very much, Bullet. It means a lot. Uh, Kaylee of two gave us a follow. Alric rated us and resub for two months. And then Kurt Isms gave us a follow, which thank you, thank you, thank you. That all means a lot. Um, yeah, it's been super fun being able to stream again. And I hope people really enjoy these streams. As I enjoy doing them. And I hope that y'all enjoy watching them and hanging out and getting to chat and stuff. Um have to see if anyone that we know is on so we can go raid them so definitely stick around for the raid all right the prediction is done let's see this is either going to be hella awesome and hype or a big letdown it all kind of depends on what the you know what i'm going to do i'm not even going to look at what code card it is because that's just going to reveal too much information to me I'm not even going to look at what co-card it is. One, two, three. Because I could turn around and it's like, oh, it's a green. Oh, whatever. Uh, I'm going to say uh, dark. Oh, it's water. All right, let's see. We got a Dugdrio. I think it's the first time we've seen Dugdrio so far. Uh, blowing smoke, a heat energy, a wishy-washy, a Q-fant, a Sinistee, a Freebass, a Passimian, a reverse hollow Kangaskhan, that's cool, and a Flygon. A Flygon. Bam, 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 bam. But hey, that's all right. Who would have known that the like first half of these packs would have been hype? Yes, it is a. You got you got a Flygon. That's neat, I guess. <laughs> it is a rare. Like it is still a rare, but. Flygon, it's a, it's a green Charizard. <laughs> Let Flygons be fly. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Let Flygons be Flygons. I'm going to have Flygon. That's so cool. We still got great cards, this box. We still got great cards. Probably why not many people voted on this prediction. <laughs> Can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> I appreciate you, Bullet. <laughs> I appreciate you too, Bullet. But yeah, let's just go through these again because, man, we pulled some cool, cool ass cards today. We pulled some cool ass cards. Eternus V, Pointy Boy, Salamance V, Slowbro V, Charizard V, which is great. Full Art Scizor V, Scizor V Max, Rainbow Scizor V Max. Gold Turbo Patch and the Charizard V X. Great. Great. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, right. Sorry. Forgot. Oh, okay. I'll do it again. I'll do it again with way more gusto. All right. And today on the stream, we. I don't know what to say. We unlocked. <laughs> today on the stream, we pulled. Eternus VMAX, Salamance V, not VMAX, V, Salamance V, Glarian Slowbro V, Charizard V, Scizor Full Art V, Scizor VMAX, Rainbow Scizor VMAX, a gold turbo patch, and to top it off, the Charizard VMAX. Ah. There we go. <laughs> love it love it great great polls great polls a lot of cards great polls 
and what do I do with all these cards? I put them in a box and I forget about them and I forget that I spent money. No. His his belly is very round. He is a very big boy. He's a very big boy. Um, let's see who is online right now that we can raid. Again, uh, please, if you're just tu tuning in, um, if you're just tuning in right now, feel free to join our Discord or follow us on social media. So you can check out all the different things that we do. Obviously, we post about all the content that we make uh, and whenever we... Whenever we uh, uh, post new videos and whatnot. Um, let's see who's online right now that we want to go raid. Oh, of course we gotta go raid. Nah, I basically I always end up raiding this guy because he's always streaming just during our time. Oh, and he's dressed up too. Like of course he is because it's Pun It Wonder. We're gonna go raid Pun It Wonder. Pun is a great dude. Pun is an awesome dude. He's super supportive of- oh my god, why can't I freaking spell? Pun is a great dude, he's super supportive of everything that we do here at Unknown Air. Um, he's been on stream before, he's playing Sea of Thieves right now, and he's dressed up as a pirate. He is dressed up as a pirate, and he's playing Sea of Thieves with his friends, so please copy the raid message, and- and... Hit his chat up. Give him a follow because he's super funny. He has a, he streams multiple times a week. He's an awesome, awesome dude. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out today. It was a great stream. I'm excited to be doing this more. And hopefully we'll get to do more than just one day a week. But for now, every Saturday, I super look forward to doing this. And it means the world to me. If you're watching this on YouTube later and you made it through this entire video, A, thank you. But B, come watch us live so we can hang out and talk to you. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna go have a steak dinner tonight, watch some WandaVision, and sort these Pokemon cards. But thank you guys so much, you're all amazing and awesome, and I love you. Um, yeah, have a great one, guys.